So let's talk about the best way you can get monkey knowledge in BTD6 so that you guys can level up your game and make it a little bit easier. Now this is not going to be a video where I say something like oh do some achievements or play the game and you'll eventually get them. There actually is a single way of getting monkey knowledge in BTD6 which is the best, fastest and most efficient compared to anything else. So welcome to a video that was long in the making, aka wanted to make it a long time ago but actually sat down and made it now, where we talk about how to get monkey knowledge points in Bloons TD6. This video is going to be mostly just me talking and the game playing in the background with a few things appearing left and right and that is intentional. This is all a part of a plan I have for this video so everything happening on screen is going to make a lot of sense later on and it's all gonna be worth it in the end so make sure to stick around and watch the video to find out what I'm talking about. As you guys know, the monkey knowledge system is a very important part of Bloons TD6 as the, I guess, upgrade system is in basically any game right now. So it's crucial for players to have a decent amount of monkey knowledge points unlocked as it makes the game significantly easier and unlocks some cool stuff in the game like, for example, the Vengeful True Sun God in the Magic Tree or the Door Gunner in the Military Tree. So it's no surprise that everyone is rushing to get those extra knowledge points and looking for a fast and easy way to do it. So let's talk about how the system works and move on to getting those points and upgrading our knowledge categories. So the monkey knowledge system provides upgrades to individual towers, whole categories and game enhancements. You gain access to the monkey knowledge by hitting level 30 and every next level you gain will award you with one monkey knowledge point. Now the first levels might be super easy for you guys to get but as you go on the XP requirements for each level start adding up and it becomes more of a grind to get to the next point and that is why it's very important to not only know how to farm your monkey knowledge points but also where to spend your points so that you don't waste any of your time and effort into playing the game and then end up buying something that's not really gonna do much. So here is how the XP system works in BTD6. It is determined by the difficulty, game mode and number of rounds beaten in a single game. The harder the map and the harder the difficulty means more XP overall and this was confirmed by a BTD6 developer about 2 years ago so immediately we have a clue where we should be focusing on although it's not that simple and I'll be getting more into this in a second. So getting XP in BTD6 starts getting ridiculous at some point, specifically after level 100, since the requirement for each next level increases by 50,000. So if you need 650,000 for level 101, then it's 700,000 for 102 and so on. And that is until level 149, where the requirement for level 150 jumps from 3 million to a spectacular 8 million XP. And then about a million added to that for each new level up until level 155. Okay, so that might have scared you, but don't worry since those monkey knowledge points are unusable anyways. Currently I'm at max level and I have 7 points to spare, so you're all good and you don't have to worry about that. But anyways, let's get back to how experience works, so we have a better idea on how to actually get it. The XP you gain is based on number of rounds played, but also the difficulty at which you play on matters a lot. So it goes like this, round 1 gives 40 XP and the XP is applied to your rank as soon as the round is over. This means that even if we lose on round 2, we still get the 40 XP applied to our rank. I also mentioned that the difficulty on which we play on matters a lot and that's because each difficulty starting from intermediate gives you an extra 10% bonus to the experience gained. So for example, after beating round 1 on an intermediate map you will get 44 XP instead of the usual 40 or beating an advanced map will be 48 XP instead of the usual 40. The expert maps give a 30% bonus to the experience gain, so if we're going to grind this out we know where to start. And also a quick thing to mention is that every time we go into free play mode, the amount of XP we gain is reduced by 90%. So starting from round 1, you get an extra 20 experience for each next round. So again, round 1 gives 40 XP, so round 2 is 60, round 3 is 80 and so on up until round 20. Starting from round 21 the formula changes and now gain 40 XP per round instead of the usual 20. So for example round 21 is 460 XP, round 22 is 500 XP, round 23 is 540 XP and so on up until round 50. And round 51 has the last XP increase and this time it's 90 per round. So this means that round 51 is 1710 XP, round 52 is 1800 XP, Round 53 is 1890 XP and so on up until round 100 which for those of you that want to know round 100 ends up giving 6120 XP or the total amount of XP we get from beating rounds 1 to 100 is 
231,550 XP. So what do we do with this newfound knowledge? How do we farm experience in the best and most efficient way and get those monkey knowledge points as fast as possible? Well, the answer is obvious and that is to beat expert maps on impoppable mode. This means that we get the most possible amount of XP by beating rounds 6 to 100. We get the extra 30% bonus because we're playing on an expert map and we dodge the 90% free play reduction since impoppable mode lasts up to round 100. And some of you might say, well, expert maps are hard and I don't know how to beat any expert maps on impoppable mode. Well, I told you guys it's all gonna make sense at the end, so by now some of you might have realized this, but this whole video that you've been watching is actually a guide to beating impoppable mode on the expert map called Dark Castle. It's kind of a two-in-one guide where not only I talk about how it works and what to do, but I actually show you guys how to beat it. And as usual, my guides are without monkey knowledge, so if you guys have any monkey knowledge available, it's only going to make things easier for you. And there is also a text guide in the description below, because I know it helps a bit too. And as an alternative method for those of you that don't want to grind in popular mode, or just too lazy to do it, you can play deflation mode on any expert map, which I'm sure you won't need a guide to figure out how to do it. So that's it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, I hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown of the XP system and how monkey knowledge works, and of course how to farm it in the best, fastest and most efficient way. And if you want to know which monkey knowledge points you should get first, I made a quick video on this which is gonna appear right now, so go ahead and check that one out if you're interested. But anyways, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.